What's up guys, it's your boy Ray here, welcome back to another video, so here in the background is a game that took up a lot of my younger life, okay, or basically I don't know if you consider it a childhood because it was like age 9 to like 12 or something like that, this game took up a hell of a lot of my life, I basically didn't have online when it first came out, so I essentially just played skirmishes, I really enjoyed the game, it's Command and Conquer 3 Tiberium Wars, but without further ado, let's jump into the main topic of the video, which is make sure you go with a good network that has support, okay, that has good support, ask around before you get partnered with a network and stuff like that ask around for people who you know are partnered with that network right and basically say you know what do they have good support because to me personally in my opinion I don't really care if the network pays you the most I don't really care if the network is gonna get you a lot of views I could sit here I could get zero views you know well not zero views because I want you guys to some people to give me feedback on my videos and unfortunately in order to get feedback you gotta have views but my whole point is I'm just using an example I could sit here have zero views I could sit here get paid like zero dollars right but here's the big thing if someone puts a false copyright claim on my video all right then you're gonna want to the network that has the best support because if you have a network that pays you a lot of money get you a lot of views but then the support is really shit there's no point having that network because as soon as something like basically you get a false copyright claim like I did on my video as soon as that happens and the support team for that network is pretty crappy I haven't personally come across a you know a network that has pretty crappy support I've heard some stories but you know I personally haven't come across one now the big thing here is if something does like that happen, something happens like that, essentially where you get a false claim, basically you need that network that has the support type, okay, basically that you want support in, because if they're not there, they're not going to be able to help you. For instance, a video of mine, I made a video about this a couple days ago, but really bossy kid on Black Ops 2 Zombies got a false claim. There were six other videos that were included with this, however, the six other videos that were included were actually legit claims. Now, it turns out that the claims put on those videos were actually manually put on instead of automatically put on because I went through and I was also looking at it and there were six videos that had the intro and outro with their music in it that were claimed. However, there was three pages, three pages of full videos of mine that had the intro and outro in it that didn't get claimed and for people who want to know the mathematical stuff of how many videos I had to go through and remove the intro and outro of three pages there's 30 pages there's 30 videos on each page there you go so three three times three and if you do 30 times three that's 90 so there you go boom you got 90 videos I had to go through and remove intros and outros out of there you go However, we found out that it was a manually detected system. I got in contact with my network, and they were able to resolve the really bossy kid on Black Ops 2 Zombies videos. They haven't removed the claims off the other videos, and I don't know why I've gotten in contact back with my network, and they're trying to sort it out again on top of that, because the people who put the claims on the videos did say they would remove those, but they have not. When it comes down to it, generally, make sure you go with a network or M or you are partnered with a network that essentially has a good support team so if something like this happens to you guys you know you'll get the good support and they'll be able to actually help you and get this stuff sorted out now if you're an independent youtuber it's a little bit difficult for people who don't know what an independent youtuber means it means yourself is essentially partner with YouTube kind of like in the same way but you didn't go through any network or anything like that you simply became a YouTube partner yourself using no no network or anything like that it's a little bit more difficult because you're independent so if something like this happens and you dispute you basically do what I did which is you know dispute the video and it gets rejected I was able to go to my network if you're independent and you dispute the video and it gets rejected you gotta try to get in contact with YouTube which is very difficult if you're a small type channel so that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. Shout out to Try Hard Ninja for helping me with the copyright claims and stuff like that on the last video that I made about copyright claims. And I'll check you guys next time. Peace.